Namaste, I'm Amara and I'm here to, today to share with you some ancient wisdom for modern, modern living that has been of great help to me in my personal life and I'm hoping it touches you, some of you out there also. So this is a beautiful parable titled, um, Do We Feed the Good Wolf or the Bad Wolf? And I'd just like to start by reading that to you and then sharing some things that we can add to the journey of our life that are going to help cultivate and feed this good wolf inside of ourself. So there's a Cherokee story about two wolves and it serves as an excellent parable. It goes something like this. One evening an elderly Cherokee told his grandson about a battle that goes on inside people. He said, my son, the battle is between two wolves inside us all. One is evil, it is anger, envy, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride superior, superior, and superiority. The other is good, it is joy peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The grandson thought about it for a moment and then asked his grandfather, which wolf wins? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one that you feed. And this is such a simple yet profound parable and story that some of us may be able to relate to, that we feel like we have um, this internal battle or dialogue going on inside of ourselves. And this sublime process of yoga meditation, the yoga lifestyle and journey, gives us all these tools to be cultivating more and more inside of ourself, this good wolf. And I'd like to share one of these practices with you today. It's a beautiful meditation called mantra breathing. So if you can close your eyes and take a few deep conscious breaths. Center yourself, bring your mind away from other things and we'll place our mind upon a purifying agent that will reawaken this good wolf, these good qualities inside of ourself more and more with regular practice. Let's add a beautiful mantra or sacred sound to our breath. We inhale and think the mantra. And on the outward breaths, we say the mantra, Om Hari Om. Let's do three of these breaths together, breathing in. Om Hari Keeping this serenity and peacefulness, open your eyes. And just like each day we bathe and have a shower and purify our body, we think about that everything that comes into our awareness, our mind, our consciousness, our heart, all life's experiences can be quite hardening. So if we want to reawaken this good wolf more and more inside ourself, the yoga lifestyle, the tradition of yoga gives us this beautiful purifying method of meditation to more awaken this good wolf inside of ourselves. 